going to tie my version of the RS2. I'm going to start off with a size 14 uh, wet fly hook or nymph hook. And to it, I'm going to add some ADOT gray thread just to get it started. Rip off that section. Now, one of the areas that, that mine different from some of the others that I've seen out there is a lot of tie-ins with micro tip fibbits and, uh, and other tail material. What I like to use uh, is turkey flats, and I'll do this in a done. And I think it just gives a little more movement. Uh, just like the look of it. You don't need to use much. It does make it a bit bigger. You know, so I'm just going to pull off two pieces. Two little sections of this turkey flat. Actually, I'm going to take in three, just because it's what I have. And so those are the turkey flats. I'm just going to put them right on top, about the length. And just tie those down. And I don't get too particular with, with that. I know people get crazy over tails and, and splitting them. I think this is suggested enough. I'll wrap them through and that'll open them up a little bit. Then I'll come back through and now I'll just start to add my dubbing to this. And this I'm just going to use a natural gray dubbing material and just get it nice and tight on the on the thread. And it helps if you wanted to get it real nice and tight to, to wet the material. It'll compress and makes it easier to get nice tight wraps. So I'll just get that wrapped up to about there. Now I always tie mine with with flash. You can tie them with or without. And what I used to what I like to do is just take some of this natural take some of this flash material and I'll just double it up over itself. So I'll take and tie it in. Create a little bit of a loop here. And then I can just pull that down so it creates some flash behind the, the wing. Trim that off. Then I'll go back and I'll put in my actual wing casing. And for this, I use uh, Antron white yarn. And I'll just take a section of that off. And this I wet as well, just because I find it's easier to work with when it's a little wet. Hold it in just to the back and tie in that section. Come back through and clip that. And then to finish out the thorax, I'll go back to that same dubbing that I used for the body. Just get a nice bead of that on there and start to work up to the front. Play with the shuck there to get it how you want it. And then I'll tie in the head. End it with a whip finish or two. And there you have it, and that's my version of the RS2 with a flashback.